part three involves integrating everything that we just did in parts one and two and combining everything, bringing it to part three. So we learn the pendulum and the concept of controlling the distance between your ribcage and your pelvis. Supporting your lower back, wherever you feel the discomfort, bring energy to that with the front of your core. Okay? So please watch part two. I'm going to edit it, make it even shorter. So please make sure you watch that before you progress into this. Okay? So now you just build on that momentum, bring it around. Just like that. Okay? If you want to start here, that's totally fine too. That way you're more aware of it. It's not behind your back. So notice the glutes and the abs. Glutes and abs. Shoulders are comfortable. There we go. Shoulders comfortable. And you're just controlling that weight up there. Let it fall to one side and bring it around. Right? Just one side and around. And then try the other side. Let it fall. Bring it around with glutes and core. Glutes and core. Comfortable. Integrating your breath with it and bringing your glutes into contact with your abs from the front. Glutes and rectus abdominis, the six-pack muscle, the most superficial ab muscle. Glutes and abs. Glutes and abs and everything in between, even serratus anterior and lats, right? But you're not thinking about that because you don't want to bring your attention too far up the farther your attention is upwards, if you're thinking about the shoulder, you're going to mess up. The shoulder will do its thing. Just focus on your center of mass and make sure it's safe and make sure it's secure.